When William Frederick Cody, aka Buffalo Bill, passed in 1917, there was likely no more famous American on the face of the earth. The man had he'd cemented his reputation as a Western legend, and he had the chops to prove it. And, and just as his work on the American frontier, and of course being present in the dime novels of Ned Budline, allowed his fledgling legacy to take flight, it was his, of course, iconic Wild West shows that brought him his extraordinary fame. Naturally, when you've attained that level of fame, and you're near synonymous with a period in time that has some pretty rich ties to firearms, people tend to give you some fantastic firearms. Now, not only did Buffalo Bill Cody receive firearms from, from manufacturers and associates, he also presented a fair number of them to people with whom he was close. Now, Rock Island Auction Company, of course, has had the pleasure of offering both arms presented to Cody as well as his presentations, uh, such as a gorgeous two-tone Winchester 1873 short rifle to the son of a friend. In 1895, Winchester Carby, he presented to Deadwood Mike, and even the Savage 1907 presented to him by the Savage Factory. And this May, we will offer another of these wonderful Buffalo Bill presentations, a Winchester with a bit of a mystery attached. On its face, it is a Winchester Model 1866 rifle. Uh, it is a classic standard configuration rifle. It's a, it's a quintessential 19th century American gun and just a, a symbol of the Old West. And on the left side of its stock is this inset badge-shaped presentation plaque that reads, Souvenir, ADWL Lascott, Panther Bill, from Honorable William F. Cody, Buffalo Bill, 1880. Now, that said, there are a couple of important details to note about this Winchester. First, it's absolutely in line with other Buffalo Bill presentation arms. One, it's it's a Winchester. Uh, and two, it is, a, as mentioned, a classic or standard configuration with this simple presentation uh, plaque inlaid into it. We see that on several of the firearms Buffalo Bill has presented. Secondly, it's a model 1866. Now this is an earlier model than most of the, of the presentations we see, and that makes sense being presented in 1880. Now, why is that important? Well, to put it in context, Cody wouldn't found his Buffalo Bills Wild West for three more years till 1883, and it's it's a whole other decade uh, would pass before it evolved into the, the Buffalo Bills Wild West and Congress of Rough Riders of the World. So in other words, Buffalo Bill was not yet the world famous showman when he presented this rifle. Of course, he, he had been performing uh, shows at least since like 1872. He knows Ned Buntline by this time. He has ties in show business. But this is, this is a piece presented to someone in those earliest days of his performing. Someone he knew before this, this tremendous worldwide fame. Now, of course, what makes this a world-class Winchester 1866 is, of course, it was presented by one of the most famous, well-known Americans of the 19th and early 20th centuries, a man who brings this portrayal of the American West, this never-before-seen level of exposure. But what sets it apart from other Buffalo Bill presentations is this mystery. Who is Panther Bill? That's a question people have been asking for a very long time. This Winchester 1866 has been in the public eye for, for decades, going back to when it became part of the you know, respected William M. Lott collection in 1930, when he acquired it for just $75, by the way. Um, and it was in uh, at least two collections prior to that. And in all that time, in and out of the hands of these, these accomplished collectors, and even featured um, in the 1973 book on Mr. Locke's collection, we have yet to find out who Panther Bill is. 
even in the age of the internet. With the sum of human knowledge available in your palm, the identity of Panther Bill or, or ADWL LaScott or LA Scott, you know, it may be very well lost to time. That's not to say that there are numerous possibilities uh, and identities for, for Panther Bill, and some of them are pretty awesome. Uh, like one Panther Bill uh, of history who earned his moniker by killing a mountain lion with a thrown axe. Uh, but no matter how extraordinary the legend, none bear this, this Lascott surname. Now, one thing we do know, and, and that kind of helps point us in the right direction, is that in defiance of most presentation arms, Buffalo Bill didn't just present them you know, to, to famous or important people. He's not looking for military contracts. He's not, he's not seeking to strengthen an alliance with another country. He's giving several guns, not to important people, but to people who were important to him. And the stunning two-tone 1873 short rifle that we mentioned earlier, um, that was presented to uh, Robbie Adams. He's a 12-year-old son of the man who printed the publicity pamphlets for the Wild West show performance out at, at Madison Square Garden. A silver-plated Remington New Model Navy was presented to uh, Frank North. Now, he's the leader of the Pawnee Scouts and who Cody had met and fought alongside during his military service as a scout. And the Winchester 95 carbine that we, that we mentioned was presented to Deadwood Mike, a.k.a. Mike Russell. Deadwood Mike was, a, was an Irish immigrant who started a, a saloon in Deadwood. He was nobody, and Cody met him in 1877, and the two remained these old, lifelong friends ever since. So could Mr. Lascott, given the time before Cody was famous, and the type of arm, could he have been a performer or a hand in one of Cody's early shows? Was he a close friend of Buffalo Bill Cody's? Was he a business associate, maybe even a fellow soldier? The Buffalo Bill presentation plaque may sit proudly atop the stock of this Winchester 66, but it's the mystery of Panther Bill that lives beneath its surface. Unsolved for decades as this gun you know, changes hand and travels from, from one generation of collectors to the next, and it's just one of the outstanding fine arms and extraordinary Winchesters in this May 17th through 19th premier firearms auction, we invite you to the, to the new facility in Bedford, Texas. Come see it for yourself. Or better yet, come Thursday, May 16th, for a full day preview. You can place your hands on these items, see them for yourself. Or of course, the best option yet, place your bids right now. And put a piece of Buffalo Bill history and an Old West mystery in your collection.